In their 2016 season, the Arizona State Sun Devils finished with a 5-7 overall record, a disappointing one for any Sun Devil fan. Throughout the season, fans have seen many irritating things from this football team, as well as some positives. Let's look at three superstars and three disappointments from this year. First on the list is freshman wide receiver Nikhil Harry. Harry was ranked as the number one wide receiver recruit in the nation and had the season to prove it. Standing at 6 foot 4 and 220 pounds, the Chandler native bullied defenders left and right as he gathered in 58 total receptions with 659 yards in the air. Harry will be a bright spot for this team in the future. Let's switch gears to special teams. Place kicker Zane Gonzalez had a literal record year as he broke the FBS record for field goals made against UCLA at Sun Devil Stadium. Throughout his tenure of 51 games, Gonzalez also became the first player in FBS history to kick 20 or more field goals each year he was a Sun Devil. On the defensive side of the ball, Karan Crump showed aggressive tactics and high energy in every game he played. Crump led his team with nine sacks for 68 yards loss. He also led the team with three forced fumbles as well as three fumble recoveries. The double backer also gathered 10.5 tackles for loss and looks to be a bright star in a spotty defense. Speaking of spotty defense, there's Salamo Fiso. The highly praised linebacker did not have a great senior year. Fiso had to miss five games this season due to an early suspension, as well as suffering a knee injury. Fiso also was one of the highly projected defenders on this Sun Devil roster to have many sacks this year, but he came up with absolute zero. In his previous three years, Fiso gathered in 12 sacks. Next disappointment on the list is junior running back Demario Richard. Richard was highly touted as being one of the premier running backs in the West, but was blown away by fellow running back Kalen Balazs. Richard finished the year with only three rushing touchdowns and only had one game where he had 100 plus yards on the ground. For the final disappointment on this list, it's head coach Todd Graham. This is the first time in Graham's tenure that ASU has not made the cut for bowl eligibility. Not all of the blame should be placed on coaching because the team was riddled with injuries, but as a head coach of a D1 football program, you have to adapt. Fans will have Graham around for another year as athletic director Ray Anderson confirmed that Graham will stay with the program. In his five years at Arizona State, Graham has led the Sun Devils to only one Pac-12 championship game and has had two losing seasons. The future of Arizona State football looks to be determined with these superstars and disappointments. For Cronkite Sports, this is Blaine McCormick reporting.